pain in the chest, coffee and chocolate, fun duplication surgeries. With the upper part of the stomach, obesity, pregnancy, maybe herniated from abdominal cavity. Fun duplication is a technique which surgeons use for treating gastroesophageal reflux disease. This surgery is performed by laparoscopy method. In laparoscopy method, the surgeon performs small incisions first and insufflates some gas in the abdominal cavity and inserts a camera. The surgeon focuses on the upper part of the stomach and lower part of the esophagus. First, it starts with the dissection of the hiatal area. The hiatal area is the part which the esophagus comes down through the diaphragm and it's a hole. After the hiatal area, esophagus connects with stomach. In this part of the surgery, the hiatal area are dissected to see the enlargement of the hiatus because one of the most common anatomical reasons for gastroesophageal reflux is the enlargement of the hiatus and herniation of the stomach to the chest through this hole. So after dissecting the hiatus, surgeon fixes that area with stitches. It brings a narrowing of the hiatus. After that, the upper part of the stomach will be prepared for fundoplication. Fundoplication itself is the part of the surgery in which the surgeon creates a wrap with the upper part of the stomach over the lower part of the esophagus. By this wrapping, the lower part of the esophagus is empowered and the acid reflux which goes up will stop. Following creating the fund application, surgeon controls the surgical area and surgery will end. This surgery takes around one hour. The results are really satisfactory. The patient selection is very important for fund application surgeries. If the patient doesn't benefit from medical treatment together with lifestyle change, he or she will be a candidate for fund application surgery. For the patients who are candidate for fund application surgery, the preoperative assessments are really important. First, all the patients should be performed and upper GI endoscopy. Actually, it's better to be performed by the surgeon who will perform the surgery, who will perform the treatment. During the upper GI endoscopy, the surgeon will see the diameter of the hiatal area and will see if there is an inflammation in the lower part of the esophagus in another name it's esophagitis and this will help for the surgeon to decide the treatment we also need some more preparation together with upper GI endoscopy it is called pH monitoring test. It's a test which shows the pH level in the lower part of the esophagus. Normally, the pH level of that part is more than 4. But in this test, if it is lower, it means that the stomach acid comes there and there is a serious acid reflux. This test can be performed via endoscopy also and a tube will be located in the lower part of the stomach and sometimes it can be a capsule. There are two different techniques. Both the tube and the capsule has a connection with a device, a cable connection or a a Wi-Fi connection. By this connection, during 24 hours, that device measures the pH level of the patient lower esophagus. 
and the next day the results will be evaluated and the diagnosis of the gastroesophageal reflux disease may be certain. According to the results of the endoscopy and pH monitoring test, the decision for the surgery will be uh, made easily.